What's up guys this is Hardik here and finally we have a nougat drum for our Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos which is based on Android version 7.1.1 nougat so it is based on 7.1.1 as you can see and it is a C-Android unofficial ROM for our Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos so today I'll be showing you guys the new features in this ROM and also I'll be showing you at the end how to flash this ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos so without any further ado let's get started so first of all i'll be showing you guys what all new features are present in this rom so if you just quickly jump into the settings you already saw the nougat uh, 7.1.1 uh, but i'll be showing you guys the new features so first thing you'll notice here is the blue accents so as you can see we have the blue accents all over here so which is from the pixel itself so that's like a really really neat thing also then there are the suggestions which are right over here so which we got on 7.0 as well uh, but it is present on 7.1 as well so scrolling down here the wireless section is pretty normal uh, in C-Android we get this C-Android settings so basically these are all the customizations that we could do onto our Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos so first here is status bar uh, one good thing in this ROM here is the circular battery icon works here so it did not work on the previous ROM but it does work on this ROM itself so uh, as you can see we have the network traffic the super user icon enabler we could enable or disable all the status bar icons that we want the battery bar the clock style on the right or the left the AM PM style so let's see if I just put in a small there you can see we get the PM as well the date well, if, if you scroll down we get the font size customization then we have the battery status style so uh, if I just select circular there you can see the circular one works on this ROM as well if we have the quick pull down so I have it from the right so if I just pull down from the right it will display the entire quick settings but if I do it from the left hand side it will only show me my notifications so that's a neat thing then going down we have double tap to sleep notification count even the CR droid logo uh, so going back here we have quick settings so the quick settings uh, which are like this were not like this when I first flashed the ROM uh, it was something like it was something like this so what I did was I only reduced the columns to three uh, which gave me this kind of setup so yeah you could mess with the tiles the the qs tiles the rows the uh, columns and stuff you could you could also toggle the wi-fi easily with one click the bluetooth the data and you get the brightness slider as well if you don't want it you could disable that you have the brightness icon vibrate on touch tons and tons of features in this room then going back into buttons so in this section uh, it's just to customize the three uh, off screen buttons so we get home button so single tap and double tap back button we also have the menu button a single tap or double tap so we also have volume button so you could uh, answer the call control ringtone volume and stuff and again going back we have navigation so in this we could enable the nav bar so if i just quickly enable the nav bar as you can see the nav bar is just like the pixel nav bar so as you can see we we don't we don't get the animation though uh, the pixel animation but all the colors and the looks are from the pixel itself you could also adjust the height so this looks more like pixel if we do it to 100 percent there we go this looks more like pixel uh, we also could adjust the weight we also, could, we also could adjust the pulse so i don't know what that is actually uh, but yeah you could look it you could look it for yourself then going back again let us see uh, we have notifications so you could force notifications for missed calls voicemail sms and stuff you'd also set the snooze timer or the timeout for particular notifications then going back again we have display so this is not the actual display settings we get in this rom uh, so in this particular display settings we get the ambient display and stuff i did not test the ambient display yet so i'm not sure if it works or not but you could try it for yourself also going back again we have lock screen so we could uh, like change the shortcuts so as you can see for particular lock screen we could set any any particular thing so none default or select an application for particular shortcut so i'll for now keep it as it is uh, then going back we have all the gestures the double tap to sleep and stuff so notification count on the lock screen as well 
so we could like if if the notifications is crowded so i'll just quickly show you so uh, for now uh, i have these minute notifications on my lock screen so what if i don't want those minute notifications so what i can do is i'll enable the notification count and the maximum allowed notification i'll do it three so what will happen now is only three Okay, for some reason that's not working, uh, but it should though. I mean, let's see if I just do it to one, if it works or not. Okay, so there you can see it works now. Uh, so only one notification we can see on the lock screen, others are down over here. Uh, so yeah, that works. Then going back again, we have power menu. So we could customize the power menu. So uh, this here is the basic power menu, but we could also add screenshot. So it will be like it really, really easy to take a screenshot. So if you press on that screenshot taken, uh, then again going back, we have recent screen. So you could uh, enable the immersive recents or you could also enable the memory bar, the clear all button. I suggest do not enable the clear all button because we already have a clear all button right over here. So enabling this one will not make any sense. It will basically overlap. So there's like no actual point in doing that. Uh, also we have omni switch but I suggest keeping it off. Then going back again we have the sounds so uh, you could uh, enable screenshot sound and stuff like that all the basic things here then going back again we have animations miscellaneous and about CR. Right? so in miscellaneous we have a neat feature in this so which is from which is from pixel itself so here uh, you could like for screenshot type it, it, it could take full screenshot or you could take partial screenshot as well so let's see if we take a screenshot real quick and then we can drag a particular section and only that particular section will be taken a screenshot of so that's that's called partial screenshot and it will be present or it is present on the pixel itself and not on the devices then again swipe to screenshot so swipe three fingers down to take a screenshot okay i think it did work yeah there, there it did work so also uh many other stuff you could take a look at itself then the next thing is about c android and uh unfortunately in this rom it doesn't support the ote updates so you have to like manually update uh, from the recovery itself then again going back we have display so this is like the main display setting so what we get in this uh, if we go into live display uh, we have the display mode which is basically night light mode so if i just do it night it will change the display color so what i what i do is basically like i keep it in automatic so it checks the time and stuff and when it's night time it automatically brings the night light mode so i do not have to like manually enable the night light mode so going back here we have sleep time we have screen saver we have display size so which was also present on the previous 7.0 rom and it is present here as well so i prefer keeping it on smaller because everything like makes sense after we keep it on smaller rather than default but yeah that's like personal preference and stuff then notifications, sounds, app, storage. Again, in this ROM, we could uh, use the SD card as an internal storage as well. So, just have to do is go into SD card and then hit on the three dots. Then again, go into uh, storage settings and then hit as format as internal. And then it will format your memory card or SD card and it will basically use it as your internal storage. And going back we have battery life so on this rom battery life has been like really really mediocre so for now i've been using grandiose as my daily driver i have my sim card in this but for some reason uh, it doesn't work it shows emergency calls only so i don't know if it's the rom issue or it's, if it's my network uh, but yeah sim card outside my house works fine so the reason i'm using grandiose is because my 6p and my 5x were heartbreak 
and unfortunately my 6p won't be repaired but my 5x will be so that is being repaired right now and i'll be getting it after four days so for now for the four days i am using the grandiose as my daily driver and also this rom as my daily driver so it's been two days since i flashed this and it's i mean it's the second day today though but yeah it's working pretty pretty good the battery life is not that good because the thing is my battery is damaged internally so i can't say it for you guys though but battery life has been like really really mediocre again going to memory we have all the uh, memory apps used we have the free ram we have performance we have total memory or average memory used also we could select the apps uh, that start on the boot itself so we could like enable or disable those apps so there we go we also have the users location security accounts privacy all the basic stuff uh the developer options also this rom is like pre-rooted so you have to just do a scroll down to developer options and then select the root access and just select the apps and adb and then you'll be rooted basically then going back again into developer options we have all the basic things here uh nothing much though the animations are on point six for some reason by default but yeah that doesn't like do anything also just enable the force activities to be resizable so we'll just test the uh multi window support for now so if i just open my dial real quick and then if i go into recents if i just hold the settings and if i drag it over here and then phone there you go uh this is like wow this is this is smooth uh i mean yeah i did not expect it to be this smooth okay so there are few glitches over here uh as you can see but not much though i mean even my nexus 5x did not uh, do it correctly on the first go though so this is like really really good so as you can see it takes a bit of time because the hardware itself is not supported uh, but other than that everything works pretty pretty good again going to about phone we have the android version the c android version is 7.1.1 itself and the build number here is nmf26q so i don't know what device the build number is from uh but yeah that works pretty good so yeah again this uh i did flash the nano g apps but i suggest you guys to flash the stock g apps if it works i don't know i'm not sure if the stock g apps will work or not but uh if you're not sure about that as well just flash this nano g apps and you're good to go so i'll be linking two files in the description and also the official rom page in the description itself so yeah the pixel launcher that i'm having here was not by default uh i guess if you flash the stock g apps these have stock 7.1.1 arm g apps you'll get the pixel launcher by default but as i flashed the nano g apps i had to install it from the play store and yes all the pixel launcher wallpaper and other other stuffs work pretty pretty fine on this device so yeah as i said two files will be in the description below alongside with the official rom page i uh, just have to do is paste copy and paste it into your internal storage or your sd card and now i'll be showing you how to flash it on your grandios so just do one thing reboot your device into recovery mode and for now here i am having the fills recovery which is the fills touch recovery but for some reason uh, on the rom page it's a, it is suggesting to have a twrp recovery but nevertheless uh, it will work fine on any any recovery so just wait until your device reboots into your recovery mode so as you can see once into your recovery first of all make sure that you are running the latest version of any recovery that you have so here is my fills touch recovery which is based on 6.58.7 which is i think the new version so if you are on fills recovery what you have to do is go into wipe and format options then hit on clean to install a new rom and once it's formatted just flash the rom itself and then the g apps if you are on twrp recovery just do one thing just factory reset your device and then select the rom file and the g apps and flash it accordingly and then you're good to go so once everything's done reboot your system and now i'll be showing you guys the boot animation of this device okay one note here is that the first boot did take a long long time so this here is the boot animation so what i'll suggest to do is if your first boot after flashing the rom is taking like 
15 to 20 minutes what i suggest you do is go into your recovery again do a factory reset and then reboot your device so that worked for me uh for the second time it like booted in less than two minutes so that was like really really good so yeah that's pretty much it thank you for this video guys also let me know what all rom video should i make on the grandiose and i'll be happy to make that uh for you guys so until my 5x comes so yeah that's about it guys thank you for this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll catch you guys in my next one.